Hey friends, so today's video, I'm gonna tell you all about the things that I got for Christmas. And if you don't like these kinds of videos, please click away, I have plenty of other videos on my channel, but I know that people like watching them and I know I like watching them. I like seeing some of the weird things that people got. And I actually got a handful of really weird shit this year. So I felt like making a video about it. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, We'll start with probably the coolest thing that I got, the thing I was most excited about. I got my own microphone. The microphone I've been using to film videos has been borrowed from work for the last several months. I switched between the Zoom H5 and the H6 and my father, bless his, bless his dear heart, got me the H6. Ah! And he got me a custom case from SKB cases with Foam that's been cut out. It has three uh, mic attachments. It has the stereo, the, these are both stereo, but this is the XY stereo. And then I've got a shotgun mic. This has everything that I'm going to need and I don't need to borrow things from work anymore. So yay. And it has a really nice sturdy case so I can't break anything. Thanks dad. Thanks dad. <laughs> One other big thing that I got was an air fryer. I was very excited about that. I can make tots in like record time. Not that I make tots all that often, but you know, sometimes you just want tots. Quickly, and I tried to make sweet potato french fries the other day with it and I cooked them for way too long, so. My sister got an ice cream maker and I got an air fryer, so let's fry some things with air. I'm not to figure out how to, how to work it and not just make tots with it. Let me know if you have an air fryer and what you cook in it. <laughs> I don't know what I can cook. I have so many options and so many opportunities, so many activities. <laughs> I'll show you what my boyfriend got me. He got me these lovely earrings. I will take them off. These are from the brand Open the Cellar Door. They have an Etsy shop. They go to a lot of um, makers markets around the area. They're locally based, they're Seattle based. And I have another pair of earrings from them that I've been wearing pretty nonstop for the last year. And I've just really gotten into earrings in the last year. But I love this um, kind of color of metal, this kind of antique gold. It's probably my favorite color of metal. I know I don't like gold gold and then silver. Silver really only works if it's like a tarnished silver but I, I really love these. They're very lightweight and the store has all kinds of fun, witchy, cool, spooky, dark kind of jewelry made out of like coffin nails and like deer antlers. If you like this kind of aesthetic, check it out, check it out. I really love these. And then Josh also got me the Feral palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. This is the only piece of makeup that I received as a gift this year, but he knows me so well. It's a lovely pressed pigment palette. All of the actual eyeshadows are magnet. So this is actually a really, really hefty weighted palette and you can take them all out, rearrange them if you have other shades that fit in these. This was the original kind of design. They recently kind of revamped it a little bit and switched out these two shades for some more interesting shades. Um, but if you have this version, of it i believe they are um if you send them your like order number if you have this one they will like send you the other two shades just for free so that's really cool uh he's gonna have to do that because i want those shades too it's a really great formula so far i've used it several times this rose shade is like to die for all of these mattes blend wonderfully and i haven't used the greens yet particularly but i've used the warm tones i've swatched all of them and they're gorgeous look out for looks with that soon too again this is from menagerie cosmetics and they're based out of newman lake washington state Yay! And then the last thing that Josh got me that um, I can show you, he he did get me a dress from Killstar and it didn't fit. So we're going to have to return it and get a different one. But my mother made it a thing this year where everybody had to get one item from the Goodwill or just like secondhand. And I didn't do that for Josh, but he got me this really awesome purse. It's Calvin Klein. It's hefty. It has lots of pockets. And my purse that I've been using was literally falling apart. So he, he got me a new one that wasn't going to fall apart. It's the same color. It's about the same size, slightly different shape, but it's in really good condition from being like secondhand. Like that's one thing that I never buy new. Like I never buy purses new. Let me know if you want me to do like a what's in my purse video, because that's a thing that people do again and that they used to do all the time. 
I don't know. So that's what boy got me. And now we'll go to what my sister got me. <laughs> there is one thing that I'm gonna wait until the very, very end to tell you about. She actually got me a pair of earrings as well. Um, these are far more uh, subtle than the ones I'm wearing. These are really nice little like, they look like quartz. Quartz. They have like a nice cool like antiqued look to it. It's it's definitely the most subtle of earrings that I have right now. They're pretty, they're cute. I love earrings. I got my sister a pair of earrings too that were far more complicated than these, but I'll include a picture to what I got her, which is also from a local artisan, which I will link to in the description below. This thing, oh my God. So my sister got me this book. Um, I had not heard of this book at all. This is, whose boat is this boat? Comments that don't, Help in the Aftermath of a Hurricane by Donald J. Trump by accident. This was a book that Stephen Colbert put together after Hurricane Florence to raise money for Hurricane Florence, made up of quotes. When natural disasters happen, presidents respond in different ways. Some presidents wonder how they can help. Some presidents wonder how to make sure it never happens again. Some presidents wonder whose boat that is. Whose boat is this boat is comprised solely of quotations from President Donald J. Trump set on September 19, 2018 to victims of Hurricane Florence. Be on the lookout for future installments in this series, including the upcoming Is My Golf Course Okay? And This Golf Course Is My Golf Course. So 100% of the Late Show's proceeds uh, are going to help victims of Hurricane Florence. So this is really cool. It's gonna be a ridiculous coffee table book that I have and the art is hilarious. Like, look at his face. Like, like, look at that. Like, look at that. Look at it. Ugh, it's so stupid. But I, I opened it up and she was like, you haven't heard of this? And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I have not. This was hilarious. Let's move on to my mother. My mother also got me a book, Quotes for Nasty Women, Empowering Wisdom from Women Who Break the Rules. It has all kinds of awesome Quotes from folks like Lucille Ball, uh, Indira Gandhi, Elizabeth Warren, Harper Lee, Cleopatra. The spectrum is is quite vast. Uh, Barbara Walters, Peggy Noonan, Linda Ellerby. Oh, I haven't heard from Linda Ellerby in so long. Oh my God. If you believe in your heart that you are right, you must fight with all your might to do it, to do it your way. Only dead fish swim with the stream all the time. Oh. Linda Ellerby was from like Nick News, right? Shirley MacLaine. I think of life itself now as a wonderful play that I've written for myself. And so my purpose is to have the utmost fun playing my part. So it's another nice coffee table book that my mom got me. So that'll live in my living room along with whose boat is this boat? <laughs> it's so funny. And then mom also got me socks. She always puts socks in my stockings because that's a thing that you uh, you ask for when you get to be a grown up. You never ask for socks when you're a kid, but like it's, it's a hot commodity when you're an adult because somehow washing machines and dryers just eat socks. She got me a giant pack of uh, ankle socks. So thanks mom. She got me a cute pair of knee highs that I will have to wear my first day back to work from Marshalls. All of these are from Marshalls. And then, um, Fuzzy socks that I'll probably have to put on later because they're going to be so warm. These are going to get me through the winter time because <laughs> it's going to be so cold. And then mom got me three pair of tights. These are gray and then I have two black pairs, but socks and tights are always a thing that I ask for. She also got me a pair of pajamas, which is something that she always gets my sister and I. She, it's like an annual pajamas thing. This year she got me a nightgown that makes me feel like Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> it's like this long ass nightgown that's got like cardinals on it. And I'm like, call me Ebenezer. <laughs> a couple other secondhand things I got. I got a spittoon from my sister because I bought a spittoon one time with plants in it. And now I turned into the spittoon girl, which is fucking funny because I don't chew tobacco. And this is a dead succulent, I realized. <laughs> so I, I still keep it because what else is gonna go in the spittoon? Something dead. This I have sitting on my uh, my windowsill along with my live plants. Um, that's the only one that's dead, just so you know. And then my uncle, because he's a fucking troll, um, got me this from the Goodwill. What am I going to do with this? I don't know. I'll probably paint it white and then give it corpse paint because that would be hilarious. Like paint an angel, like with corpse paint. This also sits on my windowsill with my live plants. Watching over me? He I, as I was opening this, he was like, this, as soon as I saw this, I instantly thought of you and I'm like, why? Why? 
we have fun on Christmas Eve. My my family, my mom, dad, sister, and my mom's brother, we do Christmas Eve gift opening. And then Christmas day, we go over to my dad's brother's house and we do a family gift exchange. This is another thing that my uncle got me, a Jack Skellington uh, nutcracker, because it's a running joke in my family that I was terrified of the nutcracker growing up because my uncle fucking played tricks on me with it. Uh, we still have the nutcracker, but he would come up like behind it like in front of me he'd be like Abby Abby and like I would scream bloody murder so he got me a new one that's less creepy because come on nutcrackers are terrifying if I wanted to take the hat off I could but I don't really want to so I'll just leave it back like this because it's not quite as obvious that it's a Christmas Jack so I'm gonna keep him up because I love Nightmare Before Christmas because it's seasonally appropriate three months out of the year yeah Something else that I was very, very excited about that I got from my uncle um, are these sick ass Marshall headphones. They look like amps. I like the, the design on them, but uh, they have metal hinges. So that's nice um, because the other two nice headphones I've had for the last like, like I got a pair many years ago, it was white. And then it would just get like stained with my hair dye because like I was doing blue hair dye at the time. It stopped working. And then I had a pair of red Sony ones, which I really liked, but the hinge was plastic, so it broke. So I was like, please get me a metal hinge pair of headphones because um, I'm not the nicest to my headphones. So these will last me a long time because it's a metal hinge. The sound quality is great. They are compact. The cord is long enough without being too long. So I'm very excited about these because um, I've been using work ones that the little like things are falling off. So I get like little pieces of vinyl in my hair all the time. So that's fun. <laughs> Next time I make a reading mean comments and ASMR video, this'll be where what I'm wearing. Cause <laughs> those videos are not going away in 2019. Just you wait. I have so many new comments. Another thing that I got from my mother and my uncle, um, one of them came in my stocking because this is where we're at in my family. Weed. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I got, I got a, a jar of cannabis from my uncle. So I, we also, my sister and I got him weed too. So yay family. Uh, and then my mom got me infused candy. So this is actually indica gummies, 10 milligrams a piece. There's only five in here. Oh, I guess there is only five. Weed candies and weed. That's what my family does. That's pretty much everything that I got from my immediate family. When we went and did the gift exchange at my dad's brother's house, I got some gift cards. Um, my uncle got me some gift cards as well, just like a Starbucks and then a, a MasterCard gift card. Um, I lucked out and didn't get any Amazon gift cards because I don't shop from Amazon. So in case you're ever wondering, don't recommend things to me that people buy from Amazon because I don't support that company. So anyway, um, this is what I got with the gift exchange. So we do a white elephant thing every year where everybody draws numbers as white elephants go. And um, I had number two. Uh, so like the worst number because I don't automatically get to steal at the end. So I opened up this box. It also had some chocolate and a little candle in it too. So like it wasn't just all like, here's something that my uncle or my cousins would like because apparently everybody in my family plays golf and loves the Seahawks because that's what every other fucking gift was. I'm giving this to Matthew, by the way. I'm not keeping it because I don't need it. <laughs> I did eat a lot of the chocolates though. And I'm keeping the candle because obviously one side of the family wants to give whiskey to everybody. The other side wants to give weed to everybody. 2018, am I right? <laughs> but the most ridiculous thing that I received uh, was another Goodwill gift. I will remind you, things that I bought my family from the Goodwill, I bought mugs, like cool mugs for my mom and my sister and I made them into fucking candles. Like I hand, I made candles. I have so much wax, so I'm just gonna make candles now. Uh, my dad, I found like virtually new thermal gloves that I bought him. I didn't get anything from the Goodwill for my uncle, but um, I got the weird angel figurine, a spittoon. My mom did give me a really cool, like big oversized black wool jacket that made me feel like John Bender at the end of The Breakfast Club. Cause it's like huge and it has these like broad shoulders that again is another like inside joke with my family. My mom's like, oh, now you have shoulders. Cause I don't have shoulders apparently. And I'm just like, you guys gave me these lack of shoulders. 
so that jacket I left at her house, unfortunately, but I'm very, very excited to wear it because it is amazing. Like if you've ever seen the movie Beautiful Girls, every time I put it on, I'm just like, you wanna go ice fishing? Like <laughs> it's a great jacket. But <sighs> the thing that is most ridiculous uh, that my sister took so much joy in giving me. When we were opening presents, she was like, okay, there's one more thing out in the garage that we're gonna wait till the end for you to open. Cause it's, it's the end thing, it has to be last. And I was like, okay, am I gonna be able to bring it home in my car? And she's like, no. Um, <laughs> so we're sitting in our living room. I'm looking at the TV. My mom and my uncle are in front of me and the door to the garage is behind me. So my sister goes and gets my gift from the garage and my uncle starts literally dying laughing. And then I turn around and my sister bought me a plastic tree. Uh, I was walking through the Goodwill and I saw this beauty. And I said to myself, how can I pass up an opportunity like this? So I bought it for Abby for Christmas. Merry Christmas, Abby. So now I have to find a place to put a seven foot plastic tree in my apartment. I believe the, the actual like trunk is wood that they just shellacked the shit out of. And then all of the plants on it are plastic, which is hilarious because I'm trying to have actual plants in my apartment. But now I'm just gonna have this giant fucking plastic tree that my sister thinks came from a nursing home because it's what it smells like. And she used to work in a nursing home and she was like, oh, it totally smells like a nursing home. <laughs> and I'm like, where am I gonna put this tree? There, like there's lights like around it that don't work. And so we're gonna have to take the lights off. She needs to bring it here because she's the one with the SUV. So yeah, now I have a seven foot plastic tree to figure out where to go. Yeah, that's what my family did this year. We bought plastic trees and spittoons and my mom got this like weird coconut thing that my uncle got my dad, like, and then, oh, he got my dad like a terrible Hawaiian shirt too. My uncle's just a troll and it's great. I did buy myself something for Christmas because I only got one thing of makeup for Christmas. Um, I bought myself the Sultry palette, so don't judge me. I gave in to peer pressure from y'all and also from my friend Gabby, who told me that I need it. It's so nice. Like I've used it a couple of times now. The shades are really, really nice. The color selection is nothing else that I have in one standalone palette. I feel like I will be able to declutter my, my Kat Von D shade and light eye palette now because like the cool tone shades are in this and I don't necessarily need that and I don't necessarily grab for it. I like it so far. It's a very, very similar formula to Norvina. So like, obviously I like it because Norvina was like bae for 2018. So I use this on my eyes as well as a couple of shades from the Feral palette, but I will be using these very, very soon in videos. I'll probably do like a get ready with me answering questions type thing with all of the questions you guys left in my Q and A, which by the way, if you need to leave questions, please leave them in that video below card. It'll be up here somewhere, but I hope you all had a lovely holiday whichever holiday you celebrate. Today's song of the day is The Greatest Show by Panic at the Disco. Not from the actual Greatest Showman because I didn't see that movie because I hate musicals, but I love Panic at the Disco. And my boyfriend and I were listening to that like consistently the other day. And then we went to go see like Spider-Man. That's all we were listening to on the way to the movie theater. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a good song. It's a good version of the song because like Brendan Urie's voice is beautiful. Like I love Panic at the Disco. Yeah. <laughs> Please subscribe if you haven't already. As of recording this, I have over 27,000 subscribers. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'll wait for that excitement in, in another video. Yeah. If I don't see you before 2019, happy new year. I'm gonna try and get another video up before then, but I don't know how plausible that's going to be, but I'll try. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for, thanks for joining the squad. All 27,000 of you. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you soon. Hopefully before 2019, if not after 2019 starts. Bye. <laughs>